Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. My name is Taryn Packer. In today's video, I'd like to tell you how to apply the cyclic symmetry condition in Simulia Abacus on the 3D Experience platform, as well as how to show full results for cyclic symmetry. Here we have one third of a washing machine coupler made of ABS plastic and rubber. We want to see what will happen to this coupler if we fix one side and place a 0.2 newton meter torque load on the other end. Because this is a design that is cyclic about an axis and the loading conditions being applied are tangential to this axis, we can greatly reduce the time and calculations it takes to analyze the simulation by applying a cyclic symmetry condition. As you can see, I have already imported the necessary geometry into the platform and partially set this simulation up. All we need to do now is apply a cyclic symmetry condition and the torque load. In the Assistant Manager, choose the Parts or Connections options to make the Abstractions tab show up in the Action Bar. Click on this tab. Next, choose the Cyclic Symmetry button. For the main surface, choose all the cut faces for one side. Because this is an assembly, I have four cut faces that need to be selected. Then in the secondary surface, choose the opposite cut faces. Now the main and secondary surfaces have been paired, so if one face moves in a specific direction, the faces paired to it will move the same distance in the same direction. We need to specify the total number of sectors in the cyclic symmetry, in this case three. Lastly, we need to choose the axis of symmetry. You can choose an axis line created separately or an edge that is aligned with the axis of rotation. We will choose this edge, which happens to be aligned with the axis of this coupler. Press OK and the cyclic symmetry condition has been created. To apply a torque load, simply choose the Loads tab and click on the Torque button. Torque loads can only be applied to vertices, so if you want the torque to be applied to a whole face, you need to use a coupling connection to tie the mesh nodes of that face to the point that you will be applying the torque load to. I have already set this coupling connector up beforehand. All we need to do now is select it for the support field, then type in 0.2 newton meters in the torque Y field and press OK. We can now run the simulation and show results. Right now the results show just the one-third slice of the full model. To show the results of the entire model, go to the Display tab and click on the Result Options button. Select the Model Symmetry button. Then check the checkbox by the same name. Because the display will be circular, choose the axis of rotation, in this case the y-axis, and lastly the number of sections to be displayed. Notice the full results for the entire model show up. We can now play the plot animation to see how the coupler would react if it was placed under this torque load. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave a comment below. If you have a topic you would like us to cover in a future video, or for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more, visit GoEngineer.com, your number one online technical resource. Have a good day.